Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be showing you guys my, kind of like my daily makeup routine. put makeup on every single day obviously I like to give my skin a break I think it's super important to let your skin breathe and sometimes I kind of like do some of this in my routine most of the time if I don't feel like going full out I just will not wear a foundation but I'll wear concealer and I'll wear everything else but like today I'm gonna be wearing foundation showing you everything that I use all the products and I'm super excited because I haven't done one of these in like probably since I was like younger with my friend so let's get started before we get started make sure to subscribe give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and follow all my social medias they will be right here and comment down below your favorite makeup product because I'm trying to buy some new products so maybe I'll go and buy one of the products that you list below okay so this product which is my moisturizer um, it's Neutrogena it's called Hydro Boost Water Gel, and um, I've been using this for years now. I think it is the best, and as you can tell, I have pretty clear skin. Um, this lighting, I need to fix it. One second. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. I don't even know if it changed or anything. Um, but yeah, so basically I've been using this for years now, and I really like it, and my skin is really clear if you like I've never really had problems with acne thankfully I'm so thankful for that but um you know occasionally I'll get pimples on my chin or whatever but like this I don't know if it has to do with using this type of moisturizer or whatever but this is the best so highly recommend so I'm gonna put this on And next, this is the primer I use. It's called Master Prime by Maybelline. And this stuff is super good. Um, I don't know. I don't. I started using primer in the past year. Um, my friend told me that I needed to start using it, so I did. I don't really know if this one's that good. Um, I don't know the difference of like what primers do. I'm not. Also, I didn't say this before, but I'm not some like makeup beauty like guru or anything like i'm just showing you guys what i do you might be like cringing at some of the ways that i put stuff on whatever but i don't really care this is how i do it um but yeah so what i was gonna say is uh th i think it's pretty good i don't know it's not expensive at all so if you want an inexpensive primer i recommend next i grab my dirty beauty blender um and <laughs> i really need to clean it um when i go back home i am going to use my beauty blender cleanser or whatever and clean it um but yeah i wet it wet that i squeeze it out and then i get my paper towel like squeeze it out dry it out whatever dry it off i kind of just go like this do any of you guys do this too? Is this just me? I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, and then I check if it's dry enough by going like this, and it feels pretty good. I Well, okay, so I don't want it completely dry, obviously. That's why I wet it, but you want a little damp, and like where it's like kind of like bouncing off your skin when you touch it. Um, and so, so gross. And then I go in take my favorite foundation ever um thank you to my best friend lily for showing me this on our cruise that we went on like a year ago and i've never used anything else after this because i literally think it's just the best it's the Too faced born this way foundation um in the shade warm nude i don't like to look super cakey so i don't do that much i just do like a couple little pumps not that much on my hand i hope this lighting's okay i'm new to the whole sit down video thing i don't normally do this so i'm really sorry if it's not i also should probably have put my hair back before doing this but that's okay um let's talk about some things so like i said in my past video i'm going back home 
in um like what day is it say wednesday so wednesday thursday first like five days i think i am leaving here and then i have a three-day road trip to go back to cali and it's just so crazy like because I don't wanna, I'm gonna definitely miss this place like I've gotten super close to my boyfriend's parents and um, but I obviously miss home and I miss my mom and I miss my friends a lot and I miss the beach I'm a beach girl so I'm very excited to go to the beach but yeah I'm definitely gonna miss it here and I don't know it's mixed feelings you know but that's okay it's been a great journey we've been here for two months isn't that crazy guys two months is a long time like i don't know if any of you guys watched my first or not my first the video um of my boyfriend and i going on the road trip here and i i didn't know what i had in store for me like it's just crazy how that works and i just I um, feel like I've grown a lot on also on like TikTok and social media and stuff ever since I've been here. Um, I definitely think that this is a really good getaway for me and, and for my boyfriend and I. And like, we needed this. Some really good time just for ourselves. And like, I definitely, you know, recommend for you guys to go take some time for yourselves and get away from like your friends and stuff for a little bit and just kind of find out who you are as a person and, and just relax like I just got to relax these past couple months and now I'm going back home and I'm gonna have to get a job I'm gonna have to you know do all that type of stuff get ready for my sophomore year of college coming up in the next couple months so you know, it's it was just a little break. It was an, a much needed break from life and we both really enjoyed it. So I put on my foundation. This looks really white on camera. It definitely doesn't look like this in person. So I'm gonna see if I can change the lighting a little bit. How does that look? Is that better or is that too dark? Oh, I wish you guys could just tell me. I think that's fine. Right? Or is that too dark? I hope it's not. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm sorry. Um, next time I do a sit down video, I'm definitely gonna figure out better lighting and all of this type of stuff. I'm learning still, so yeah, forgive me. So then I go in. I need to speed up this process. This normally takes way faster. So then I go and I take concealer, which I just started using. I never used concealer before, but honestly, I like how it looks. I have bags under my eyes, so it definitely helps. But I also have a mirror right there, that's why I'm looking over there, so I don't mess this up. But yeah, so I put that there, just under my eyes. I don't put it anywhere else. And do this. I just wanted to say thank you so much if you guys are new to my channel and um, if you guys just subscribed recently because you saw me on TikTok or whatever. Thank you so much for subscribing and, you know, coming along this journey with me. I'm really excited to see where things go and I've always loved social media. I've been doing this for a really long time. I feel like this is, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing. So I hope that good things come out of it. Oh, sorry. And this is the concealer I use. It's called Instant Age Rewind. I'm only 19, so it's kind of funny. So it's in the shade medium 130. Go in. I get my Hula Benefit little, ooh, sorry, that's really hard to see. Um, it's really, like, messed up. This thing is old. Like, I forgot I had it, and then I ran out of I had a bigger version, and then I found this mini version, like, at the bottom of my makeup bag. And I was like, yes, I don't have to go buy one. But, yeah, so I get this, and take my little... Now brush my whatever I go two times, tap on the side of the counter. I kind of just like tap it on my below my cheekbone and then I kind of just like rub it in. And then I bring it up here 
and kind of bring it up there too. And then I just, I just rub it in. Do that. Yeah. Super good, right? Okay, so after I do that, then I do the other side, and then we do that really quick. Why does my face look just so different than my skin? Guys, I hope this looks fine on camera. I don't know. Oh, wait, but I tanned yesterday. I tanned so much yesterday, so I wonder if it's gonna make my foundation look so much lighter. Okay, wait, I'm gonna put a little bit more bronzer on because your girl does not want to look like white on my face. That is a pet peeve, people. I'm not gonna be that girl that looks like I don't know how to do makeup. Even though I probably don't. Is this how I do it? I never do it on my forehead. Hopefully this is fine. Is that better? Yeah. I think that's fine. Whatever. If it looks bad, I don't care. People can judge. I use this milk makeup. Um, it's lip and cheek. I don't know, I just, it's meant for, you can use it as lipstick or for your blush. It looks like this milk right there. Then I go and I just put it on my cheeks. I have natural, very rosy, put a little bit on my nose too. Natural, very rosy um, cheeks and just my face gets pink, you know. Just, I don't know, I don't know why, but it just does. It just gets pink. So, I don't put too much on because I know that even if I didn't put this on, eventually throughout the day you would see my rosy cheeks. So, I don't even know if I need to put blush on, but I just do it because I want to be cool like all you guys. <laughs> um, so then, after I do all that, it's time for some eyeshadow. So I find this to be super natural looking. It, it just adds a little bit of, you know, just a little bit more to your, to your look. So I go in with a crease brush, take that same um, Hoola bronzer that I used on my face earlier, um, and I put it in my crease. I'm just gonna put it in my crease, blend it in. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye, blend this in. You guys know the deal, hopefully. I've been doing this for years now, just putting some of this bronzer, bronzy color on my eyelids, and I think that it looks so good. And it's so cool because it's like a two-in-one. You can buy one of those Hoola bronzer things, and it can be for two things. It's not just for um, contouring your face or whatever. Okay, so after I do that, see, what I recently have been doing is I have been trying to do a little bit of a, you know, cat eye eyeliner type of thing. The thing though about this is, is that I suck at it. I seriously am good. The first eye, this happens every time. I do one eye really good, and the other eye, it takes me like 10 tries. So I'm going to do one eye, and then I'm going to come back to you guys when I do the other eye. Because I know every time I'm like, please, hopefully I can just get on one try this time. It never works. So I just, I accepted it. So let me grab my, my brush. Also guys, I forgot to say, I don't use liquid liner. I use eyeshadow, like black eyeshadow, and I use a flat eyeliner brush, it says on here. So I take my, one of my favorite palettes, I've been using this one for a while, it's called the Tartelette, Tartelette, I think, I don't know, Tartelette, Tartelette in Bloom, um, this is what it looks like, I love it, 10 out of 10 recommend it. I use the shade or the color, whatever, um, Smoke Shadow, it's just a black Eyeshadow, I tap this twice on here, do that, and then I go, and I try to do this, oh gosh, 
on camera. This is scary. Okay, wait, let's see if you guys can see me doing this. No! See, this is what I mean. It was way too big. And I have to go grab a Q-tip and I have to wipe it off and I have to do it again. Okay, and I have to wipe it off. Can I just, okay, I'm just going to do it and I'll come back to you guys because this is going to take way too long. But you guys know how to do it, right? If you don't, I'll, I don't think you guys should learn from me because I don't know if I even do it right, obviously, as you can tell. So I'll be back in a sec when I'm done doing the eyeliner. Guys, I give up. I don't know how people do it so perfect. I don't understand. Mine will never perfectly match, but that's fine. Okay, this is what it looks like. I don't know. My eyes are closed. Hopefully you guys can see well enough. Whatever. Ugh, so dumb. You know, I just wish I was one of those people that can just get it perfectly the first time. My life would be so much easier. That just took me like 10 minutes to do. Then I go in with a dark brown color. It's called Jet Setter from the same palette. And then take that, tap it, and I put it um, on my waterline. Well, not on my waterline, but like, you know, not inside, but like, I don't know, outside. So you guys, I don't know the correct, whatever, terminology for this type of stuff. So don't hate on me, please. Okay, and after I do that, then I'm going to go and I'm going to take this brush right here. And I'm going to take my Smashbox Shape Matters palette. And I'm going to take, I don't know what shade it is. Does it have it on the back? Yes, it does. Highlight. So they have a highlight in here and our highlighter in here and I um, put this there and I put it in my inner corners. I think this is so key to making your eyes just look all bright and they pop and I just love it. I think I've been doing that for a while too. I've been probably putting this in my, using the same palette for so long. It's literally lasted me probably three years now. So yeah. I recommend getting it. Hopefully they still sell it. Don't know. Pretty sure they probably do. And if they don't, I'm going to be upset when this one day runs out. But I think it's because I only use a couple of the shades in here. So that's probably why it's lasted me so long. But I don't know. And then I go and I put this on my Cupid's bow. And then the tip of my nose. Rub that in. And I take my little fan brush, whatever it's called, use that same highlighter, put it right there, and then put it right here. And I forgot to say that, or I forgot to do this, but I also put it, I've been trying to put it on my brow bone. Just, you know, highlight everything, make it all just glow. We're almost done, people. Sorry, this is probably really long. I don't know. I'll try to cut it. My videos always end up being like 25 minutes and 25 to 30 minutes and I really apologize for it. You know, I see it. I notice it. I talk a lot. I think. I don't know. Is that why? I don't know. We're almost getting to the end. So now I'm going to take this eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes. So I'll be right back. And then I go in with my favorite mascaras right here. Um, I use the pink one first and the green one after, but this is them. They're called Lash Princess Volume Mascara and False Lash Effect Mascara. I've used this type of mascara for three months now and I swear by it. Um, I seriously think that it's the best. So, oh, also forgot to mention like the best part about them is that they're literally four to five bucks you can get them on amazon or like cvs and i don't see the point in buying super expensive mascara when you can get inexpensive mascara that literally works even better right 
I don't know. Oh yeah, they also sell them, I think, at Ulta. So, there you go. When you go to Ulta next time, who also, like, can't look normal and put a mascara on? Like, <laughs> um, but next time you go to Ulta, check it out. For the taste of your lips, I'm on a ride. You're a toxic guy. Okay, so I go in with that. Make it look all good. After doing that, I let this sit. The first, you know, coat sit, and then I go in and curl my other side. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, and then come back to this eye and show you guys what I do. Okay, so I just did this eye, and now I'm going to go and put this on each eye as well. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll show you guys the last few things I do. Also, a little tip for if you get a little bit of mascara, you know, on your eyelids, just use a Q-tip. Don't wet it or anything, and just kind of take it off, and it won't take off your other makeup. That's... I like to do that because I used to use a makeup wipe and then it would take off like, I don't know, a little bit of foundation or eyeshadow I had right there. So, tip of the day. So, after doing all of this, then I go and I grab a makeup wipe and I take it off. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I grab a makeup wipe. I used this one earlier for like, I don't know, some mascara or whatever. But, um, I just take off the foundation that got on my lips and seriously guys it just makes them look more like pink and like a little bit more plump when you do that too so it's a win-win last final step is a lipstick um i normally put lip gloss on today i don't know if i will right now i'm just gonna put a little bit of lipstick on this is a shade Barbara and um, it's from NARS and I kind of just go in and pat it I don't rub it around I just pat it oh, I forgot my most important step I normally put chapstick on before this that sucks whatever um I go and then I rub it in My fingers and it looks like this and yeah this is it guys this is the look yay we're done um let me go show you guys in natural light what this looks like so I don't look crazy because I don't know how I look right now so let's go look so this is the look guys here's a little liner I did and you know just everything I did. This is what it looks like in natural lighting. See, I told you guys it matches me better. Wait, I mean, now let me turn it up. Now it just doesn't look as bright. Okay, this is what it looks like. I hope that you guys liked this tutorial and just us, you know, having some one-on-one -on -one time without anyone else around type of thing. Um, a little sit-down video. It was fun. I promise I will figure out better lighting for next time. And like I said earlier, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe. It would mean a lot to me if you did. And go check out my other social medias. I'll put them right here again if you didn't get them last time. They're also in the description below. And remember, I'm posting videos every single Sunday. So turn your post notifications on so you know when I upload them on that Sunday. And as always, I hope you guys are having a great night or day or whenever you guys are watching this. Bye, guys.